Welcome to Guys Talk Knives Live. Of course we're going to get that. It's Cindy and Superstar. I'm standing in my backyard and somewhere somebody is doing something crazy. We are doing that uh, social distancing thing, working from home, doing all kinds of other different stuff while we're out here. So if you hear the birds chirping, it's absolutely a beautiful day here um, in my backyard. This mic, get, they got louder. Wow. <laughs> that is absolutely insane. This show is brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knife Works, SMKW.com, the world's largest knife store, both online and in person. Guys, we're going to go through the normal things that we go to. It's going to be a little bit different. You're going to hear some highway noise. You're going to hear some other things. It's going to be what it's going to be, uh, but we're going to get through this. Uh, we'll chat live. So the, the, what's happening, you'll see it over in the chat that's going on right now by you. Go check that out because we'll chat live. Melina is going to take Facebook today. <laughs> I'm going to take YouTube today. We're switching up from Tuesday, and we're going to make it happen. I, of course, have some uh, notes some business to take care of before we get into anything else. I want to say last week on the show we gave away a, the CJRB Centros. Pat Kane won that. Pat, congratulations. Uh, congratulations to you and your beautiful wife Kelly and you have a beautiful son. I saw your Gatlinburg pictures. That's pretty awesome. Uh, thanks for being a part of the SMKW Army. Uh, thanks for getting entered to win that and that CJRB Centros is going to be on its way to you soon. Now, it might be a little later than we normally do some of this other stuff because we've got to go back and forth between the building with this social distancing thing that's going on. But we will get you your CJRB Centros. I uh, also want to point out that we have a lot of core case product online right now at Smoking and it's totally on sale. It's not all case, but Case was kind enough to put their core product to take it off of map for us. So we have some very core products available for you. Uh, from case just go to the home page look for the banner click it you'll be able to get to all those core case uh, products and you'll be able to see the discounts they'll be in they'll be marked in red down from the regular pricing also as related to the retail store you see that I am broadcasting from my home we are actually going to keep the retail store in Sevierville closed until April 6th so the main showroom is going to be closed until April 6th and we will reopen on that Monday April 6th um, Smoky Mountain Guns and Ammo which actually ri resides inside the store is going to stay open daily from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. but they're gonna have limited access okay there you'll have to come in through the front entrance it's for gun and ammo purchases only you'll have to come in through the front entrance and they're going to allow only about 30 people in at a time in order to uh, spread people out let them get what they want and get out the door we'll have somebody at the front we'll let the next people in as you go remember we do have uh, hand sanitizer at almost all the counters inside and we've been using a uh, hospital grade disinfectant wipes to be able to clean down all the surfaces in between but SMGA will still be open for gun and ammo purchases 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily the main showroom will not so if you come into SMGA up front you will not be allowed to go into the main showroom I will point out smkw.com is still up and running taking orders our website is going strong it is doing everything that it needs to do uh, and so we are shipping out orders as we speak so there are lots of good things that you can you'll still go shop for 28,000 products online and ready to go here's the thing with what's going on across the country some shipping times we found have been delayed so what you need to do is just build into that up to three day additional days over standard shipping time so we normally say three to five business days make it eight okay if you make it eight you're going to get your order probably within that time we apologize if there's any inconvenience to that we just really don't have any control over it whatsoever those things are just going to go out as they go, but we are open at smkw.com. Our warehouse is still fulfilling orders and we are getting them out to you as quickly as possible. What else did I have here? Nope, that looks like it does it for the notes for today. So we've got a pretty decent show. Uh, we're gonna go through our five things uh, and, and tell you what they are. Uh, and I'll, of course, put the links. We'll have the links there in the caption of this video so that you can find them. Man, it was not this loud. Like every hawk <laughs> and eagle on the planet has come out to be part of the show. Trucks. People running up the road. I've got my nerd glasses on because my others were, good <laughs> lord. 
I've got my nerd glasses on because my others are transitions and I didn't want to look like Wilford Brimley for this shoot. So we're going to try to get through this. The very first thing I have is the something new for Thursday. This is the CRKT Burnout. This is actually a really nice outburst assisted knife. You can see that it's spring assisted right there. Let me hold this up and tell you about it real quick and then we'll, we'll flick it a few more times. Okay, this thing is designed by MJ Lurch. If that name sounds really familiar to you, that is because it is the wife of CRKT designer, Matthew Lurch. And I've gotta say, she did a great job on this knife. It is a 3.7 inch 8CR13 MOV clip point blade with a dark stone wash finish. I think that's really, really pretty on that dark stone wash finish. Um, it is 0.15 inches thick, you can see right there, and it does have the ambidextrous thumb studs on it, so it opens lefty or righty just fine. It is an outburst assisted opening knife, so this thing really does spring. Let me see if I can do this for you in the camera up close. Here we go. I mean, look, it just moves. It just really, really moves. The handles are pretty too. On the front handle, you've got one layer of carbon fiber, and then you've got G10 underneath. On the back, it's all 3CR13 uh, stainless steel with a frame lock and a tip-up pocket clip, which is removable, but not actually reversible. Uh, let's see, it's five inches closed. I'll close it down and show it to you again up close. It's 8.7 inches overall, and it weighs 4.8 ounces. This is a full-size EDC from CRKT. Let me show it to you closed. So there's what it looks like in profile in the pocket. That is actually pretty nice. Why are you raising your hand? Because that's the one Thelma had to take away from me. Had to take it away? Because I kept you... flicking it. It's a uh, fun one. It is a fun one. This is a fun one to <laughs> flick. That outburst assist is really, really nice. Um, just a nice little knife. Look at that. Here, we'll go back in here because it's trying to lock onto my face again. Just a knife. This is something new from CRKT. This is $53.99 at smkw.com. You can find it on the show link that's part of the caption in this. But it's $53.99 from CRKT. It's the CRKT Burnout. Now, I actually like this knife a lot uh, just for that little reason right there. I have to hold it up really high to get it in the camera. It's because I'm short. People don't know this. <laughs> I sit down in the studio all the time. It's very, very, I'm very short. Five six, that's what I am, with no short man complex. <laughs> it's gonna happen. Guys, that's the CRKT burnout. That is our something new for Thursday. Let's jump into the next one. I don't know what the next one is, you'll have to show it to the me. The Line Steel Thrill. Line Steel Thrill, what is this? Is it a, I have no idea. I didn't bring the other show notes, so. Oh, it's it's the Line Steel Thrill, red aluminum. No, 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 what? not that, what? something new. I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> EDC of the week, I think is what it is. Maybe it's, yeah, it's going to be the EDC of the week. I, you know, we didn't bring, apparently if you work from home, you forget things on the inside of the house that you bring out for the outside of the I house. Have it in, um, oh, I'm sure. I'm sure we both have it. Guys, this is the Lion Still Thrill. It's a slip joint knife with some really cool stuff to it. Let me open this up so you can see. Look at that. Okay, look. This is a slip joint knife, a very modern slip joint knife. Uh, there are some very cool features. I'm going to walk it up so you can see it up close. Okay, this thing has, it's the Thrill, that's its name. I, and I think it is thrilling, quite frankly. It has a 3.15 inch M390 drop point blade with a satin finish. Look at that swedge. It is really, 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 really pretty. This is a non-locking slip joint that's 0.13 inches thick. It does not lock up. There is no lock here for you to see at all. This is a slip joint, a very modern slip joint. The handle itself is red aluminum, and here's the cool thing about it, it's one piece. This is one piece of CNC milled um, aluminum, red aluminum. We have several different colors of this, but this is the red version, look at that. It goes all the way over the top, all the way over the sides, and all of that. Now here's the other cool thing about this. See how that looks like a button? It is not a lock. It is a patented H period whale, W-A-Y-L technology, and it gives you the ability to keep a pocket clip here that remains completely flush when this thing is out and in use. If you push the button, you'll see, see that pocket clip raise up? Look at that. Let it go, it's down. So you get the benefits of a pocket clip 
but when it's open, it's just disappeared. I think that's actually really cool. Here's the button. Look at that. There is the button right there. And then here is that pocket club clip. And it is completely flush with this knife. Um, I really, really, really like that. It closes down to 3.94 inches. So it's gonna ride like that in your pocket. Opened up, it's 7.09 inches. And this thing weighs, because of the aluminum, because of the M390, just 2.33 ounces, made in Italy by Lion Steel. We've got seven, seven different versions of, uh, versions is. We've got seven different versions of this particular knife on the site. They all start right around 120. The one I have in my hand is 119.99. That is the Lion Steel. That is a nice little, little knife right there. Um, in fact, I can probably do this. I don't know if I can or not. We'll see. It's moist. Oops. Moist paper. Will it cut moist paper? <laughs> it will. Paper is very moist. <laughs> That's because we live here. <laughs> That's because it's moist outside. What are you going to do? I keep trying to look for the lock. It's, there's no lock to this. It does have the half stops in it. That is very, very nice right there. Next up should be the Pocket Candy Traditional. Pocket Candy Traditional. You need to move that way so I'm not looking way, way over there. Awesome. Come back so I can see the notes. There you go. The notes were <laughs> Pocket were Candy just... Traditional today is the GEC Tidiut Pocket Carver. Now, this thing, that's a Congress body right there, right? But if you like Orncliffe blades, you're going to love this knife. We should have probably opened it before we started, but there is one Orncliffe <laughs> blade. <laughs> And then there are two baby Orncliffe blades on this knife right there. So look, it's a Whittler. That is, it is a Whittler with a Congress body. You got one big Orncliffe, two little Orncliffes. This thing has 1095 carbon steel blades. As you saw when I opened it up, it does have the half stops. Uh, nickel silver bolsters, brass pins and liners, all the blades open with nail nicks. Uh, it has this blade, the big one right here, I can get it back to focus. This one right here is two inches and both of these are 1.25 inches. Now, that looks like a long 1.25 inches. You can never trust those manufacturers out there. They're gonna lie to you. That's what it is. <laughs> Closes down to 3.75 inches and it weighs just 2.12 ounces. Um, I notice here that we don't have the, oh, it's white bone. This white smooth bone. White smooth bone handles on this thing. You have not talked at all this episode. <laughs> because you just jump, man. The blade thickness on that main blade uh -huh. is 0.1. The secondary blades about 0.5. Okay, so she's pointing out to blade thicknesses. So you can see that that's thinner than that right there. There's the back springs too. Look at that. Main blade resting on both back springs. Yep, that's pretty cool. This is a nice little, I mean, GEC, these are collectibles, guys. They have been valuable across the country for the last few years. They're really nailing it. Go check this out on the site at SMKW.com. This one is 107.71. And it's also available in Coca Bolo. Coca Bolo. Yeah. Nice. So we you don't got have this it, one in, we don't have it. I mean, we are here. It's <laughs> we, in the store. You'll we'll link to it. We don't but, we don't have it in the store. We don't have it here with us. We don't Can't have it here it with us. You, but, but we can one. tell you it comes in Coca Bolo. <laughs> 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 oh, the birds are chirping. It's a beautiful day in Tennessee. <laughs> Okay, half stops again in this thing. Very, very nice. 107.71 from GEC under the Tidiute name. That's the Pocket Carver right there. That is the Pocket Candy traditional. What is up next? Hinderer. Hinderer. This is going to be the premium of the week. And uh, this is a Hinderer. And not only is it a Hinderer, this is the Eclipse Spanto Harpoon. This is a pretty, pretty knife. Boy, that's hard to do when I get there. Look at this thing. That is pretty, pretty, pretty. If you never had a hinderer, uh, this is kind of what you're in for. I think this one feels a little bit more slim, a little bit um, better in the hand than a lot of what I've held from hinderer, but I like this Eclipse a whole lot. It has a three inch CPM S35VN Harpoon Spanto blade. You can see the harpoon there at the top the Spanto out front. It has a stonewash finish and it is 0.14 inches thick. 
This is a manual flipper, guys, and it does have that tri-way pivot system. So if you don't like washers, switch them out to the bearings, switch them out to what you need. You can unscrew this pivot and change out how this knife opens, and that's actually pretty cool. It does have the dual thumb studs, so it is good for lefties and for righties. Now, these handles are pretty cool. That is blue G10, right? But it is over top of titanium, and you can see that titanium right here. And you can see that that titanium makes a frame lock inside the knife. It is just a nice design that the G10 on both sides covers up all of that titanium except for just the edges that are out, some chimping on this end and all of that. It is 4.25 inches closed. Let me close it up and show you. Looks like that right there closed up. It's 4.25 inches closed, opened. It is 7.5 inches overall and it weighs 3 point ounces made in the USA by Hinderer knives. Look at that grind. That is a pretty pretty knife. Let me do it this way. You can see that. That is actually very nice. This knife is $375 from Hinderer. Remember we do have that Sezzle program that's on the website um, and they uh, and you can break that up into four easy payments over six weeks if you qualify. There's no heavy credit check on there at all. Just press the sezzle in the payment option as you get through that and check it out and see if that's available to you. You can break that up so you can spread it out over time. But $375 from, from Rick Hinderer Knives. That is the Eclipse Spanto. Maybe if I move it back here to get focused, it's like a mustache. <laughs> so, yeah, that is that knife right there. Awesome. That is the pocket candy. Oh no, that's the premium. Premium. The and last but not least, the American made pick of the week. I'm going to throw a wrench in the works. <laughs> this is the K bar wrench knife. This is a USA made knife. Look at that. It looks like an actual wrench in the handle. This is one piece forge construction from K bar. It has a three inch blade all the whole knife is 425 high carbon stainless steel so you're going to get a heck of an edge on this thing it does have a drop point blade look at that grind very very pretty it is 0.19 inches thick very uh heavy duty thick little knife but also a great edc it does come with the sheath but we managed to get out of the building without grabbing the sheath so we do not have that to show you it is a polymer sheath so it is much like the rest of the K-Bar sheets that you've seen out there. It is 7.125 inches overall and weighs just 3.2 ounces. Made in Olean, New York, made right here in the USA by K-Bar. How much does it cost? How much does it cost? It's $39.99. This knife right here in my hand is $39.99. <laughs> um, it is a fun little knife. I, I swear, if you have anybody that likes to tinker on cars or likes to play around in the garage, this would be a great knife to give as a gift. It's just a pretty, pretty little um, knife from k -Bar. It's a wrench. Right? Yeah. Nice. I like it. I like it too. I think it's nice. Let me see one of those pieces of paper that's not moist. They're all moist. Are they all moist? But moist is a disgusting word. Moist Stuffy is word. a disgusting word. The night was... I'm going to double up some paper and cheat since we're moist. <laughs> the night was sultry. <laughs> Owen! Hey. Let's see. I am not going to be able to cut moist paper. No. <laughs> not with that. Not for sure. Well, it was worth a try. I'm going to hand that back to you. <laughs> so. <laughs> Just a reminder, we are brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com, the world's largest knife store. We're doing these shows a little bit different right now. We're taping them and we're dropping them as live premieres. So if you're watching right now, you're watching a live premiere that is happening uh, and taped right in my backyard. We'll be online chatting with you. So come on like you normally do. We can't answer all the questions straight away uh, in the videos. I can't talk back to you because I taped this earlier, but I can type back to you so you can see all of that there. Make sure you're going on to Facebook and following us there. We do have the giveaway that happens every single Wednesday. Make sure you're on YouTube doing the giveaway there too. If you looked, it's a Spyderco smock right now. You have one we're giving away on uh, Facebook and one we're giving away on YouTube. So if you get entered into both of those competitions, we'll draw randomly and you got two chances to win a Spyderco smock. That is an amazing knife. 
that we are giving away. Follow us on Instagram. Make sure you're doing the kick it or card it each morning. We drop that around 6.30, 6.45. Uh, make sure you're checking out the get to the point videos so you can see something new come up in that stuff. Do all the things, guys. We've got a lot of time on our hands. We're trying to get through some crazy stuff that's going on in the country right now. Let's do it together. Come play in the SMKW Army on uh, on on Facebook. We've got like 3,000 people there who love sharp and pointy things. So, so come enjoy that and have a very good time there. But uh, I don't have any more knives to show. Oh, 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 wait. I do have, because you all asked last time and you didn't do it, I do have my EDC today. This, let me get back here where it's gonna come out. That right there is covered in junk. <laughs> but that's my rat works. This is a pretty, pretty little, this is an automatic knife. Let me see if I can do it here. It's a push button auto. It's Boom. chain driven. It is chain driven. Mm -hmm. I can show you that. Look at this. See that chain right there? It's the coolest thing ever. It's not decorative. It actually pulls the blade open. So this thing, get it right here. It actually pulls that blade open. So this is a Ratworks. We do have these in the showroom. I don't know how many we have online right now. I think we had a few there for a little while. But I have had this one for two or three years and I actually love this knife. I decided to put that one in my pocket this morning. So that's my EDC today. Um, show us on the in the Facebook Army what your EDC is. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to do a giveaway. It's coming. It's next. So let me look and see what we've got. <coughs> uh, so to me, it's between this burnout mm -hmm. and the wrench. What do you think? I was going to go for the tape. We almost never give those away. Well, we almost never have a lot of those to give away. <laughs> We're not going for the titty -oop. We are going to do the CRKT <laughs> Burnout by MJ Lurch. So uh, let's figure out something that we need to do as a comment on this video. Let's see. We've asked people where they're from. We've asked people what they like about knives. Um, uh, what can we ask? What can we ask? I love this thing. This thing is a lot of fun. <laughs> She's not helping. She's just going to stand there and laugh. I'm trying to think. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make her put her on her spot. Come up with it. What are they going to do? Shoot what the they, birds. What are they going to do to this? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. So here's what we're going to do. Um, let's tell me what your first knife was in a comment. What was your very first knife that you owned in a comment? And you will be entered to win this. It's what is your very first knife that you have ever owned? Uh, put it in as a comment and you will be entered to win a random drawing uh, for this video. Uh, we'll let you know next Thursday. Maybe we won't have as many birds. Maybe I'll get out here like, uh, <laughs> what was his name in uh, Steel Magnolias? Uh, he shot the birds. Oh. Can't remember. Gah. I can't remember either. Lynn? Went, something like that. I don't remember. But the Lynn was her name. Yes. Yes. Okay, guys, we're going to get out of here. Melina has <laughs> been behind the camera laughing at me the whole time as the birds and the traffic go by. This has been another episode of Guys Talk Knives. This one's not live, but we'll be back soon. I will catch you next time. Bye, guys.